his dad bought him a bike and that was it. We was basically in trouble. He's different from everyone else on the track. He's totally different from everyone else. I said, you've got to win, son, you've got to win. And he did. Then he didn't stop. I first got a BMX bike when I was maybe five or six. I went to national level, yeah, when I was six. And I've always ever told everybody, oh, I want to move to Manchester like my brother. Massive sacrifice, like leaving family and friends. They're just having fun and I'm here training for a life I might not even live. I'm only gonna train harder and get faster to win the Olympics. Both of them went to school in mainline Peckham. It was definitely a risk for them living within this area, living around Peckham as well. Training, riding their bikes through Peckham. He's the youngest of the, the three brothers. So the siblings always want to follow the older brothers. Trey's got a bronze medal at the World Champs before. And obviously last year I got second. My dad was smiling for ages. We was always honest with our kids. Um, you know, we always told them, mum, dad can't really afford it. They both knew that me and their dads have had to borrow money um, to get them to certain races. My parents played a big role with me and my brother, helping us get, yeah, literally get to every race. Even when like times are hard. Dad, we're going racing this weekend. I'll be like, yeah, yeah. I didn't have the money, but I just said, yeah. This race is kind of Hayes. Yeah, Hayes is probably about five. The boys have slept in tents. Me and his dad have slept in our car. It's not an option not to get them there. You have to get them there. This is what they want to do. One of the fastest guys in London, that is Kai White from Peckham. I got the nickname Murphy for the South because I'm always shouting for Kai to get around the track. Kai, come on! My biggest sacrifice to get to Manchester is um, just leaving family and friends, really. This is the only route to the Olympics that I can take. Yeah, I miss him. Especially because he's six foot five and he calls me little daddy, yeah. I just miss him for being Kai. Uh, just coming in, prancing around, telling me how strong he looks and how handsome he is. He brings happiness when I'm sad. Them days when I'm down or when I'm working on, I want to think, oh, I'm going to leave this job and I'm like, I can't leave this job. I told my boys they got to stick with it, what, what matter, whatever happens. Every race now I do is just so I can pay back my mum and dad. If I can buy them a car, whatever car they want, after I've done all my achievements, they can have whatever car they want, to be honest. And I can only do that if I win. You don't you don't get all the glory and all the, like, all the nice stuff by coming third and second. He doesn't need to repay us. Um, for what we've done for him because he's had, he, they're our children and we would do it all over again for he, any one of them. So I just want Kai to be, to go out there and make it for himself. So without the lottery funding, I'll probably still be in London working in the bike shop and then still training after. Without it, it'll be, it'll be a big loss. Since I've been 12, this is my dream and this is where I've been destined to go. And now I'm here, I'm only gonna train harder and get faster to win the Olympics.